Chinese scientists have created temperatures six times hotter than the core of our actual sun. There's a reactor in France that just held plasma stable at temperatures hotter than the sun's core for over 22 minutes straight. In laboratories across multiple continents, scientists are reprogramming bacteria to create materials that repair themselves. Autonomous trucks are crossing entire countries without a single human touching the steering wheel. And somewhere in a clinical trial right now, a paralyzed patient is controlling a computer cursor using nothing but thought. These aren't carefully worded predictions about what might happen in 2040 or 2050. They're operational realities in 2025, reshaping the fundamental infrastructure of human civilization. While most people remain completely absorbed in daily routines, utterly unaware of the transformation happening around them. What makes this moment genuinely unprecedented is the convergence. Previous industrial revolutions unfolded sequentially, steam power, then electricity, then computing, giving societies decades to adapt between waves. But fusion energy, autonomous systems, brain-computer interfaces, and synthetic biology are all crossing from experimental to operational simultaneously creating cascading effects that amplify each other's impact in ways nobody fully predicted. And here's the deeply unsettling part. The gap between what most people think is possible and what actually exists right now has never been wider. Technologies that seem safely confined to science fiction just five years ago are being deployed in hospitals, integrated into transportation networks, and tested in millions of homes worldwide. The future isn't approaching at a comfortable, manageable pace anymore. It's already here moving faster than human perception can track. What follows is an exploration of 15 innovations that aren't just improving existing systems, they're rewriting the fundamental rules of how energy gets generated, how materials behave, how transportation operates, how intelligence functions, and how humans interface with technology itself. Some will solve crises that have plagued humanity for generations, others will blur boundaries between biological and technological until those distinctions become meaningless, and several will force profound questions about autonomy, consciousness, and what it means to be human when machines can think independently and biology becomes programmable code. The star we're building on Earth. For decades, nuclear fusion remained the ultimate clean energy challenge, the holy grail that always seemed perpetually 20 years away, regardless of when you asked. Fusion works by fusing lightweight atoms like hydrogen to release massive amounts of energy, the exact same process that powers the sun itself. Unlike current nuclear fission reactors, fusion produces virtually no long-lived radioactive waste and absolutely zero carbon emissions. In 2025, something fundamental changed. Experiments aren't just advancing incrementally, they're breaking records that seemed impossible just years ago. In France, a reactor held plasma stable for more than 22 minutes at temperatures exceeding 100 million degrees Celsius. That duration moves fusion from interesting laboratory curiosity toward genuine practical viability. China's artificial sun projects are hitting their own remarkable milestones, sustaining plasma at extreme temperatures for periods that demonstrate real operational potential. Private companies are raising billions to scale the technology beyond experimental facilities into actual commercial power generation. The implications are staggering and civilization-altering. If fusion becomes practical at commercial scale, it could power entire cities using fuel extracted from ordinary seawater. No fossil fuels, no carbon emissions, no radioactive waste that remains dangerous for millennia. Just abundant, clean power that could fundamentally solve humanity's energy crisis permanently. The question isn't if anymore, it's when. And the timeline is compressing dramatically faster than even optimistic analysts predicted just five years ago. Minds controlling machines through thought alone? Brain-computer interfaces cross decisively from theoretical research to actual human trials producing remarkable results. Companies like Neuralink and Synchron have implanted devices that allow paralyzed patients to type messages, control cursors, and interact with computers using only their thoughts. No physical movement whatsoever required. Non-invasive headbands tracking brainwave patterns are also advancing rapidly, giving users control over applications and prosthetic devices without requiring surgical implants. In 2024, a patient posted on social media directly through brain activity, demonstrating conclusively that thought-to-text communication is no longer science fiction. Regulators in the United States and Australia have approved extensive human testing, while defense agencies are funding next-generation research into soldier augmentation and pilot enhancement capabilities. 
By 2025, the focus is shifting decisively from pure laboratory breakthroughs toward rehabilitation medicine, where thought-controlled technology could restore genuine independence to people with severe disabilities. But the implications extend far beyond medical applications. If humans can control computers through thought alone, the entire concept of human-computer interfaces changes fundamentally. Keyboards, mice, touchscreens, all could become obsolete as direct neural interfacing becomes the primary input method. And once that threshold is crossed, the boundary between human cognition and artificial intelligence starts dissolving in ways that raise profound philosophical questions about consciousness, identity, and what being human actually means in an age where thoughts directly control digital systems. When your car's frame becomes its battery, batteries are the backbone of modern technology. But current designs are heavy, slow to charge, and contain materials presenting safety risks. The next generation is fundamentally different. Solid-state batteries replace liquid electrolytes with solid materials, dramatically improving energy density, charging speed, and safety profiles. Toyota announced plans to launch vehicles with solid-state cells before 2030, promising ranges exceeding 700 miles and full charges in just 10 minutes. Samsung and QuantumScape are running large-scale trials pushing the technology toward mass production viability, but there's something even more radical emerging that few people are discussing. Structural batteries where the vehicle frame itself stores electrical energy. Researchers at Chalmers University demonstrated a prototype battery that's 20% lighter than conventional battery packs specifically because it serves dual purposes, providing structural support while simultaneously storing power. If scaled successfully to mass production, this means smartphones that last multiple days between charges, electric vehicles that store power in their own bodies, dramatically extending range without adding weight, even aircraft that use fuselage and wings as enormous batteries, making electric flight genuinely practical for commercial aviation for the first time. The challenge now is transitioning from laboratory demonstrations to factory assembly lines producing millions of units economically. But the trajectory is unmistakable, and multiple companies are racing to cross that threshold first. The future of driving could be no one behind the wheel. Tesla has announced its self-driving tech is being rolled out across Australia. The feature can take a driver from their front door to their destination without touching the wheel. Transportation that drives itself everywhere? Transportation is being completely reinvented, and the transformation is far more advanced than most people realize. Electric vehicles that once struggled with limited range are now routinely crossing 500 miles on single charges. Robo-taxis are no longer futuristic demonstrations. They're picking up actual paying passengers in major cities, navigating complex urban environments entirely without human intervention. Autonomous trucks are logging millions of miles on highways without human hands ever touching steering wheels, proving the technology works reliably at commercial scale and the transformation isn't limited to ground transportation. Airlines are flying commercial passenger routes using sustainable aviation fuels that dramatically reduce carbon emissions compared to conventional jet fuel. Startups are testing hybrid electric aircraft that could revolutionize regional travel, making short-haul flights both cleaner and potentially cheaper than current jet-powered alternatives. Even drone delivery fleets are becoming operational reality, with packages being delivered by autonomous aircraft in multiple countries. Put it all together, and we're witnessing the entire global transportation system becoming simultaneously cleaner, smarter, and astonishingly automated. The implications cascade across society. Dramatically fewer traffic accidents caused by human error, massively reduced emissions, transformed urban design as parking needs plummet, and entirely new economic models as vehicle ownership potentially becomes obsolete in favor of autonomous mobility services. Cities that think and adapt. Cities aren't just getting bigger, they're developing genuine intelligence. In 2025, major urban areas are integrated with comprehensive sensor networks that keep traffic flowing smoothly, adjust water distribution in real time based on demand patterns, and even predict electrical grid surges before they cascade into widespread blackouts. Singapore operates comprehensive digital twins of entire neighborhoods, allowing urban planners to test infrastructure projects virtually before laying a single brick or pouring any concrete in the physical world. In Seoul, AI-powered traffic management systems have reduced average commute times by nearly 20% through intelligent signal coordination and dynamic routing recommendations. 
Even basic infrastructure like street lighting is becoming adaptive, automatically dimming when pedestrian traffic is absent and brightening immediately when motion sensors detect approaching people. These upgrades are transforming crowded urban centers from passive infrastructure into responsive environments that operate more smoothly, waste fewer resources, and keep millions of residents measurably safer. The vision is cities as living organisms, constantly sensing conditions through distributed sensors, processing information through centralized AI systems, and continuously adapting operations to optimize countless variables simultaneously. As urban populations continue concentrating, with projections showing over 70% of humanity living in cities by 2050, this intelligence becomes essential rather than optional for maintaining livable environments at unprecedented population densities. The internet running entire industries, the Internet of Things evolved far beyond smart home gadgets and novelty applications. It's now running entire industries with startling efficiency and reliability. Farmers use distributed soil sensor networks to determine exactly when irrigation is needed, which simultaneously boosts crop yields while conserving enormous quantities of water in regions facing scarcity. Manufacturing facilities monitor thousands of machines in real time using predictive algorithms to identify and address potential problems before breakdowns occur, dramatically reducing costly downtime and production disruptions. Shipping companies track every single package down to the second, with integrated systems that can instantly reroute shipments if disruptions emerge anywhere in complex global logistics chains. And in 2025, edge computing makes everything dramatically faster because data processing happens right where information is collected rather than traveling to distant data centers and back, reducing latency to milliseconds. For consumers, this translates to fewer product shortages, smoother deliveries, and critical systems that don't fail when needed most. For industries, it means operational efficiencies that were literally impossible before ubiquitous connectivity and distributed intelligence became technological reality. Reprogramming lifelike software, Synthetic biology is treating cellular processes like programmable code that can be rewritten to achieve desired outcomes. In 2025, biotechnology startups are engineering microorganisms to produce fuels, plastics, and novel medicines more sustainably than traditional chemical manufacturing processes. Cultured meat is advancing beyond laboratory curiosities, with pilot production facilities now generating tons of lab-grown chicken and beef using cellular agriculture techniques rather than raising and slaughtering animals. Scientists are creating genuinely living materials, concrete embedded with bacteria that automatically fills its own cracks, dramatically extending the functional lifespan of roads and bridges without requiring constant human maintenance. Self-healing infrastructure that repairs damage before problems become serious structural concerns. The global synthetic biology market has already surpassed $20 billion and is rising rapidly as applications multiply across diverse industries. For everyday life, this means more sustainable food production that doesn't require massive land use or industrial animal agriculture. Infrastructure that lasts decades longer before requiring expensive replacement. Medical treatments that adapt and evolve inside the body based on real-time physiological conditions. Biology itself becomes a powerful design and manufacturing tool, with cells programmed to create materials and perform functions that traditional chemistry and engineering simply cannot achieve efficiently. Materials that defy natural laws. Imagine windows that automatically tint when sunlight becomes too intense, or walls that actively cancel external noise on command without any user intervention. That's the emerging reality of smart and metamaterials, substances engineered to manipulate light, sound, or heat in ways that don't occur anywhere in nature. In 2025, researchers are testing self-healing concrete for bridges and roadways that automatically repair stress cracks, and companies are designing ultra-lightweight materials for consumer electronics and transportation that maintain or improve strength while dramatically reducing mass. The global smart materials market is worth tens of billions of dollars and expanding rapidly as applications multiply across industries. Why does this matter beyond impressive laboratory demonstrations? Because these materials can make buildings last dramatically longer with minimal maintenance requirements. Electronics can weigh substantially less while simultaneously improving performance and durability. Renewable energy systems like wind turbines can operate more efficiently using materials specifically optimized for the unique stress conditions they experience. The entire physical infrastructure of civilization gradually becomes more durable, more efficient, and more responsive to changing environmental conditions. So here's the reality that's still sinking in across industries and governments. 
15 fundamental technologies just matured simultaneously across energy, transportation, materials, computation, and human augmentation. Fusion reactors holding plasma stable, brain-computer interfaces allowing thought-controlled communication, synthetic biology reprogramming cells like software code, autonomous systems planning and executing without human intervention, smart materials that repair themselves, structural batteries integrated into vehicle frames. These aren't arriving sequentially with comfortable adaptation periods between waves. They're converging, creating interactions and synergies that amplify each breakthrough's impact exponentially beyond what any single innovation could achieve alone. Previous technological revolutions transformed specific domains over decades, but fusion energy, autonomous vehicles, agentic AI, brain interfaces, synthetic biology, and programmable materials are all crossing from experimental to operational simultaneously. Humanity isn't experiencing linear progress anymore. We're navigating exponential transformation across multiple fundamental domains at once, without clear roadmaps or historical precedent to guide societal adaptation. These innovations promise solutions to civilization's most persistent challenges, energy scarcity, environmental degradation, disease, resource limitations, human disability, infrastructure decay. But they also generate profound questions about autonomy, privacy, equality, consciousness, identity, and what being human means when boundaries between biological and technological dissolve completely. The future that careful forecasts place safely in 2040 or 2050, it arrived early unannounced and is already operational across multiple domains. The world just changed fundamentally. Most people simply haven't noticed yet.